and today we're going to talk about and show about street parties in Mexico and what's the deal okay so you stay tuned so how about you're riding down the street and are driving down the street and you know exactly where you're going what time you need to be there and you've got your stuff together right and all of a sudden you see orange cones or some kind of ribbons across the street or cars parked in the wrong sideways and the street's blocked and now what are you going to do are you going to go road rage new york style or are you going to do the drive friendly texas style or what are you going to do the normal thing if you didn't know any different would be to maybe not say it but think who made these people keep to the road how come they've got the road blocked and there's a big party tent there and oh my gosh don't they understand that other people have life to do well let me tell you about life being done when fred and i were getting ready working very very hard to get debt free and working on the road and we did a lot of traveling we'd be in the car by 5 30 and have to go to different work sites then i would begin being Fred's private expat coach. How come? 21 years in Mexico gave me that right to be able to do that. Because I had not been a tourist. Uh, I had not been an expat. I had just been fused in to living just like everybody else in the neighborhood and learning how to survive on very limited income. So I, we'd have fun and he already knew when by the time he got here why streets were closed for family parties and i'm so proud of him because it happened yesterday didn't bother him a bit he just went the other way and we took pictures to show you and now i want to explain why that family had a right to do that number one when they saw us take the picture they, you know, they said, oh, we have a permit, we have a permit. And Fred said, we know, we just want to explain to others about permits and how it's okay to do this. So, let's talk about salary uh, in Mexico. So for 2022, the minimum wage has been set at 172 pesos a work day. That's about $8.50 a day. They go to work for $8.50 a day. How do you pay a 30 peso taxi each way? How do you take a break and buy a Coke? Really? So that's what we need to think about. So their income and, um, doesn't merit renting a party salon. And that's a really big business here, party salons. Um, Actually, I think it's on my son's bucket list to have a party salon, to create one. And you, not everybody can afford it. Or if they can, they've worked for years to save up for the 15-year uh, birthday party, which is like our sweet 16. Or the, or the wedding uh, reception. Or the other events of the family. For example, behind that big tent, just be happy for them. Their salary it could be that grandma and grandpa have been married 50 years. It could be that Fred and Cindy have been sober 30 years. <laughs> it could be that a grandchild just got baptized. It could be that somebody finally got their retirement. Gold watch? No, but they finally retired and they're going to have their little pension. There are so many reasons why that tent is blocking your way in the street. And that's what we need to think about. How wonderful it is that we live in a country, or we're moving to a country, or we're seasonally expacting to a country where they care about family and loved ones and unity and celebration, and they're not always biting their nails. They may have debt, but they're not biting their nails. This country really does trust and rely on God. It's amazing, it's really amazing. And many times you'll ask them, uh, so are you gonna to go to Oaxaca to that convention next month? 
and they'll always say, Si Dios quiere. Si Dios quiere. If it's God's will. And that's what they mean. No, they're not saints. No, they don't live in a monastery. But they know enough from their culture just that they can't change life. They gotta enjoy life. And they need to add more water to the soup when times are hard, or to the beans, when times are hard. And they're gonna have a fish head for their soup when times are hard. But they'll have the whole filet or ceviche or maybe shrimp cocktail when times are good. And it don't even matter because the family's together, marching ahead, and that's what we need to be grateful that we have been able to be a part of this society and live like this society does. I really worked with Fred a long time, two years, explaining culture, philosophy, thinking, uh, sign signals, which I will work with on, on videos, uh, sign signals for communication. I helped him understand that this country is about de-stressing, enjoying, being able to breathe freely. We are so blessed to be in a country like this. There's corruption everywhere. Sometimes it's in prettier packages, more expensive packages in other countries. There's accident, harm, and danger everywhere. There's crime and fraud and scams everywhere. There's youth gangs everywhere. You are not going to be able to find Shangri-La on Social Security or turn into an ostrich and put your head under the sand and live in bliss without things happening around you. I didn't say they were gonna happen to you. They just, life happens all around us everywhere we live. But in this country, we live just for today, having fun, enjoying the family, playing with the kids, waving at everybody. Fred doesn't pass anybody without saying, when is this? Even when it was nighttime and he first got here, he would say, when is this? And they loved him for it because he was being a part of the community. So when you see a street closed for a family gathering or party, drive by, walk by, turn around, but bless them. Send them a prayer. Y'all have fun, be safe. Congratulations and be on your way. It may be your party next time for getting your international papers or buying and building your mansion over a cliff looking at a beautiful ocean. Whatever your dream is, bless others with their dreams too. That's it. Be sure to subscribe to learn about life in Huatulco and to learn about retiring in Mexico also because we do share 25 years experience with you. Do you need a virtual mailbox so you can take care of business and personal communication on a daily basis? Are you interested in XPAC or Nomad insurance that's highly affordable? Click our links below. We'll be back soon.